everybody, today I want to show you a version of the hairstyle that I wore to the Cannes red carpet. Now, that was quite full on glamour and this one is a little bit easier to do, a little bit more wearable, but still glamorous enough for a night out. But I actually think that it looks cool in the daytime as well, so let's get started. Now I'm starting off with towel dried hair, I'm going to be applying the Toning Guy Volume Plumping Whip, which is a cream like this, and that's just going to help to create a little bit of movement and a hold to the hairstyle which is really important because this hairstyle is really all about the texture and the movement going through it. I'm spreading it all the way through my hair. Now if you don't like the texture of mousse, and it's taken me years to get used to the texture of mousse, I've got a bit of a phobia of it, then this is actually quite nice because I don't know, it just feels nice going in, you don't get that sensation. And then all I'm going to do is dry the product into my hair. So I'm going to be using a hair dryer. I've got a paddle brush just to smooth it through. But I'm not doing any styling at this point. It's just drying the product in. And now I'm just going to section my hair. So I'm going to take the top section away because I'm not going to be tonguing this. So just halfway up between the ear and the crown. And then taking my tongs, I'm just going to really, this isn't about getting really perfect curls because you're not going to really see the curls. It's about creating movement and texture on the underneath just so that you can manipulate the hair and get it to sit where you want it to sit. So just taking my tongs, I'm going to really loosely curl my hair all the way around, taking quite big sections. And now I'm just going to take all that hair that I've just tongued just to get that bit of movement I'm going to gather it upwards so not backwards but upwards towards the part that I've sectioned off so this is all about getting that hair out of the way because it's the top part that's going to actually make the style. I'm fastening that with a hairband and then I'm just tucking it all in I'm winding it round on itself and then fixing that just with a couple of pins. And now I'm going to create the height and the volume and the texture in the top section, which is what we're really going to see. So, taking my sectioning kit out, I'm going to start at the back and moving towards the front, taking sections across and then back brushing them. But before I do that, I'm going to be using this, you've seen me use these before, this is the Tresemme back comb dust. And normally I sprinkle it on and massage it in with my fingers, but because I'm using the brush to kind of massage it in, I don't need to do that. So just taking a section across, moving the rest of it out of the way, sprinkle that on, and then taking my brush and just pushing that down and just keep going the whole way through the hair. It gets a little bit knotty <laughs> just to create that real texture. And now that I've got this height and this texture, it's really easy to work with this hair because you've got that lovely prep done. But what I'm going to do really gently, gently, is take it back, which already is. I mean, it's almost pointing in the right direction to start with. And then just gather it to the back where the bun was before. And I'm just going to take it over the top of that bun. I'm going to have it a little bit rock and roll. So I'm just going to finish off just to give this a bit of hold, I'm using the VO5 Ultimate Hold hairspray and this will also help if it's a little bit humid outside just so that star won't drop. So I'm just going to give it a good spritz. And you can see at the back that I've left that tail out. It's quite rock and roll I think, I really really like it like this but obviously you could tuck it all up as well. So that is a little version more quick and easy I suppose version of what I had done when I was in Cannes. Hope that you enjoyed that video. Make sure you like and subscribe and I shall see you next time.